Welcome to Dicking Around. If you're hearing this, it's because uh, Chaos truly got the better of us, and we uh, are just recording ourselves dicking about. Hey everyone, just cutting in here from the future. This time, not actually our fault. Um, not to get political, but if you check the news about everything that's going on in the UK, um, a lot of that happened when we were supposed to record, and... Frankly, we didn't feel like recording when all of that was going on, so uh, slight delay on a real episode. By the time you hear this, we'll, we will be recording a new one, all for assuming everything's gone well. Uh, back to normal soon. Enjoy the filler content. Enjoy. It's a really hot day. Yes. <laughs> oh, it is. It's been uh, it's been a hot weekend. I feel like I haven't slept in like seventy two hours. Oh, it's been awful. Mm. I can't sleep in this heat. I went to buy a fan today and I couldn't find one. I, really? Uh, All sold out? Yeah. I must reiterate the the hack I tell people every year, which people forget every fucking year, and that is dry towel on the bed, wet towel as the blanket, and be bollock naked. That's all you have to do. <laughs> I did forget that. Okay. I, I may try that tonight because I... Uh... I do desperately need some sleep because I have work tomorrow, but yeah, mm. there we go. I think my plan is going to be a pillow in the freezer, and then I just put it on. Yeah, yeah. M- maybe have two and mm. like rotate them. Like if you wake up in the middle of the oh, night yeah. all sweaty, you've got a nice cold one mm-hmm. to... Got a backup cold yeah. pillow. You've got a nice That's cold a one idea. to go get. Yeah. Sure, surely it can't be that bad that you need to actually freeze a pillow. I'm it. very sweaty, Grace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good God. It it is Ma- yeah. Men run warm, especially fat northern men. So <laughs> it's <laughs> it's a difficulty. Okay. Okay, well, I'm built for sunnier climes, I guess. You are you are built like a lizard. You are built for having a lamp above your bed that provides heat. Mm. Yeah. And good for you. Thank you. I'm built like I'm built like a walrus, so I unfortunately need. <laughs> I need to sleep in the snow. You need to be able anyway, to sit on some ice. <laughs> I would love to sit on some ice right now. It's quite funny because, um, you know my uh, little Yaris that you learned to drive in? I do. Um, Very well. Yeah, that was it. Um, so this was the year that the aircon has picked to stop working. Oh, oh so, <laughs> no. It probably just needs new gas putting in it, but like, I don't particularly want to spend any more money on a car that might very well be in the scrapyard. Uh, very very soon, so I I feel like that's a sign to get a new car, but I'm not your mum. Uh, well, I'm, I'm working on it as as ever, uh, okay. and it won't be a new car; it will just be an older car in better condition. Mm-hmm. So I had a feeling it would be. Yes. New will car. it be? Will it be older than my car, which ch- turned ten years old last month? It will be older than your car. It will probably be a similar age to what I've got now. So, okay. 20 years old. so 20 years old. Yeah, 20, 20 to 30 years mm-hmm. old is the bracket I'm sort of looking in. So, okay, minor car story. I can tell this now because this won't go in the show at all. Um, my boss, oh, who I was talking to to sort of negotiate time off to like go to the garage, has also never been to a garage. Really? So we both just assumed, yeah, two hours will be fine. No. Yeah. <laughs> Because she only buys new cars. Ah, okay. Oh my so, god. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So basically, when she goes to the garage, she get usually would probably get a courtesy car. And... No, no, she's just never been to the garage. Oh, okay. Well, somebody else has done it for her. Has a new car. When it starts having problems, she gets a new car. Wow. Not taking it for an MOT at a garage. I don't know if she's had an MOT or not. That'd be a car Would every it? year, bro. That's not. That's insane. Well, no, because because new cars you don't need an MOT for three years, right? Yeah, but you need to service them. Yeah. In line with the manufacturer's warranty. Has she not oh, yeah, been sure. servicing her car? I don't know. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'm not well. sure. Mm. Mm. Well, Either way, was as out of her on. depth <laughs> as I was. So. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I I thought I'd just say that just so you could. And she her advice was yeah this. This is why you shouldn't buy an old car, James. Just always buy new when my brakes went out. Oh, come which, on. Which, for your standards, I know it is an incredibly minor thing. This is the thing, right? I have 
I've owned close to 30 cars in my lifetime, right? Roughly one per year of your life. Yeah, roughly one per year of my life. Which is very impressive. <laughs> um, I've never been let down because one of them was broke irreparably. I've, I've always sort of like traded them in because I got bored and wanted to try something else. But mm. I've been all over the country in some proper ancient hanging bags of shit, and they've always got me hooked. <laughs> Exactly. And you can bet they cost a lot less than a brand new car every Oh, yeah. Time. That's a lot of money. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. That woman has got more money than sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very tell much her. so. <laughs> Who is she? Do I know her? You tell her. We're going to a wedding. I'll tell her at the wedding. Don't tell. Don't ruin this wedding. Uh, <laughs> best man's speech. I'll just write it in at the end. Grace, so no. The best man can tell her instead. <laughs> no, as, as much as her, her car habits are weird, we like her. So yeah, we do. Please, yeah, we please do. don't do that. No, uh, oh, it'd be amazing though. <laughs> I might turn up just as she's coming out of the church in my Yaris and be like, "See this? <laughs> Got me down here, no problem." <laughs> no issue she with older cars. What, Stop she won't buying know what them. The fuck's going on? <laughs> no. <laughs> like, and if them. anything, she'd probably be annoyed that I've told the story on the show. <laughs> so, <laughs> Nick, please don't do that. <laughs> okay, I I will do that. Don't worry. What the okay. fuck was that? That was me drinking from a bottle of 7-Up. No, uh, something in my house has just fallen down. Okay. Could just be the ghosts again. I'll be honest, last time there was a noise in your house and we were recording, I pumped up the volume and it sounded creepy as fuck. <sighs> now you tell me. Um, I, I showed you. It's in It's in the episode. <laughs> give, me, give me five minutes. I'm just going to go see what that was because it could be something harmless. It could be a cup of water which is now leaking onto the carpet. Give me two seconds. Okay. It's going to be a ghost. I can't remember which episode it was now, but there's just like a cree noise <laughs> in the middle. And I left it in just because I thought it was funny. It might have been the MILF special. Did you ever get around to listening to that? I listened to bits of it, mm. and then I had to go, so I cut it short. That's then, fair. No, no, I've not listened to all of it. That's okay. Did you like it? Yeah, it was very silly. Oh, good. That was the plan. <laughs> I hoped it was. Mm hmm. Honestly, a serious review of MILFs would be a very different show. I don't think we could do that. Okay, I do apologise for that. It's the things That's you have okay. to put up with when you live in a haunted house. So, I know, right? Yes. So we're doing what kind of fairy are you? Oh, okay. Okay, let's go. Yeah, we've got to choose some wings first. Got some green ones, some blue ones, some. I uh, got a, got a so fucking deer with wings for some reason. That deer looks like he's got a third eye. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's like he's been shot in the head or something. <laughs> I'm going for the cursed deer. Uh, I will go for the blue ones. Oh, you can choose more than one. Oh, okay. So you can have multiple How wings. generous. Why <laughs> is beyond me, but... <laughs> I'm choosing the deer. Because being a deer sounds fun. Okay, fair enough. Now we've got choose your fit. Choose your fit. Okay, we've oh, got... Oh, yeah, outfits. <laughs> we've got a sort of green autumn thing with, like, a brown cardigan, green skirt, um, the leg warmers you see on Japanese schoolgirls in anime. All right, in the 90s. Mm. There's a poor woman freezing to death in a, a white corset she looks and kinda, tiny jacket. Yeah, she looks kind of pissed off about it, though. She looks cold. Yeah, and she looks annoyed with being cold. I think I would be yeah. in that situation. Um, if I can briefly become a fashion critique person, those shoes do not go with the outfit. Well, the trainers. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, they don't. You need, I don't know, some kind of heels, maybe? In the snow? Are you for real? To fit with the outfit, yes. <laughs> None of this is suitable for snow. No, I but... know. But if, yeah. it's a, if you're a fairy, it doesn't really matter, does it? I suppose not. Uh, as a uh, as a lady in a blouse and a long skirt kicking a tree. Yep. Ah, uh, yes. One, by the sea. There's one just squatting in the snow with, again, the leg warmers. Squatting in the snow? I don't see that. Yeah, I see that. Green wings. Uh, there's another one which just looks like an emo with the knee-high socks. Oh, yeah. The, you got a steampunk one. There's a lot of, like, leg warmer there's stuff there's going fucking... on. Yeah. I wouldn't have thought of that as being part of the fairy aesthetic, but... I guess it is. Yeah, there it is. Maybe fairies get cold too. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to pick Beach Girl. 
Yeah, I'm leaning towards Beach Girl. Yeah. She seems the most appropriately appropriately dressed for where she is. Yes. If you're... I don't know if that's Hun Stanton. <laughs> she needs, she needs some it's probably not Hun Stanton. <laughs> it's probably not Whitby either, which was grim and cold. Bridlington. Never again. Oh, don't. Brid would have been worse. Yeah, known, known Yorkshire beauty spot, Bridlington. <sighs> or Hauntsy. Grimsby. Or definitely not Hauntsy. God. <laughs> I have went to Hauntsy um, amusement parks once. Never again. It it is, pr- yeah, it is pretty grim until you get to to Whitby, really. Mm-hmm. Uh, up the east coast. Yeah, Grace, I took you to the good bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, of all the places you could have gone, you know, Easington, Withensea, Hauntsy, mm. Bridlington, Scarborough. Yeah, it, it gets nice when you get up to sort of like Robin Hood's Bay, and Filey's quite pleasant as well, I suppose, if you uh, want mm. to go somewhere where there's nothing to do. Hmm. Okay, accessories. Okay, so we have... Fluffy gloves, ivy gloves. Flower uh, bracelets. Metal, metal ear, a fairy and a rose on a necklace. Oh, you've got... fake ears. You've got the crystal from Atlantis. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the one that you wear around the neck. you got some moss... <laughs> 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 Love a bit of moss. <laughs> yeah. br- I like some of the earrings, but most of them are crap. There's a bracelet made oh out my. of incredibly sharp looking stones. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it does say to choose one to three. So I'm going for the crystals on the ear that form like a set of wings. I think those are quite nice. Oh, that's what that means. Okay. Cool. Cool hat. <laughs> that is the hat from. Uh... It, it, what we do in the show? Yeah, it looks similar. I mean, no, it's not made of witch. It's shape. not made of witch skin. In shape. It's not care. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes, it, it is, is cool. It is a cool hat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having. I love that hat so much. That is my favorite story from that show. <laughs> and I'm gonna take the leaves wrapped around the hands as yeah, well. Go for it. Choose an animal companion. Do we have to choose just one? Choose one to three. Oh, excellent. Right. So, um, I'm going crow, dragon, um, <laughs> huge dog. Which huge Quite dog? Few... Like... So you got a coyote, you got a forest There are so wolf. many huge dogs from, got... from these options. you got a husky dog, and you got, like, a, 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 a just a, a fucking mm-hmm. St. Bernard. Yeah, I, I think he's a mastiff. I'm going for the mastiff. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, yeah, mastiff's a good shout. Going for mastiff. Um, going for this ethereal witch thing, I happen to know frogs are the best companions, oh, okay. so I'm go- I'm taking the frog. It's a toad. It's a toad, yeah, you know what I mean. It's a, a green amphibian. Just thought this. I'd be pedantic. <laughs> 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 for no reason whatsoever. Well, um, Freenos is cool. I I may as well take him. I'm gonna go Otter, because they they look cute, but they're secretly fucking evil. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> just like you yeah yeah uh unicorn because they're op and i think i'm gonna go to the for the crow because it'll whisper secrets to me excellent crows are solid picks yeah my third pick was the uh white flo- fox though because oh he's sweet best of both worlds between cat and dog <laughs> all right I see. It will smell of piss, though. That's the only Look, downside fo- with a foxes, fox. They fucking fox- reek. <laughs> but, but you get both a cat and a dog in one package, so... And they smell like a weasel's... Like a ferret's well, cage, you know what can, I mean? It's just we can work disgusting. on that. Why don't we you can just do- go for a cat dog if you want that? Because a fox is a cat dog, Nick. No, like... a. D- Cat dog, do you remember? Do you, do you remember I do remember cartoon? cat dog, yeah. and that was nightmare fuel. Yeah, just go for a cat dog. Where does it shit from? <laughs> I don't understand this reference. Oh shit! Hang on, hang on. Are you gonna try and upset me? No. Is this gonna upset me? Maybe it's a cartoon from the mid two thousands. I'll I'll watch it later. Let's go through the goodies. It had, it it had a pretty good theme tune. Is that what you're trying to find? No, I'm putting it in the new section of our Discord server. Do we ship it? <laughs> uh, here is Cat Dog. Yeah, that is Cat Dog. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Alone in the world with a little cat dog. It, it is one creature that is a cat on one side and a dog on the other. Yep. I feel like I've seen this cartoon. You probably will have done. It was the 2000s. It was just called Cat and Dog or something, and there's one episode. Just called Cat Dog. Where they get 
It was called Cat Dog. Uh, the theme tune was incredibly country. It was it was pretty good. I don't remember the. I remember the theme tune to Cow and Chicken. You see, I don't remember that. It's for the best. Yeah, probably. But as an aside about nineties to early two thousands cartoons, how delicious did Wood look in the Angry Beavers? <laughs> I never saw the Angry Beavers. There's, there's just something about how they animated the food that made wood seem like a very good dietary choice. Oh, fair enough. I uh... full of fibre. <laughs> yeah, good, yeah, good for um, yeah, keeping your bowels going. Like they just, they just eat a log, and it just, it looks really appetising. <laughs> and and yet you don't eat any greenery whatsoever. Well, it wasn't greenery; it was brownery. 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 We, and... we eat lots of brown food. I do eat lots of brown food, it, Grace. You can't. Literal, <laughs> literal tree, James. <laughs> I'm not eating a tree, Grace. I'm not a beaver. Uh, what environment do you feel more connected to or want to visit? Well, I've got to pick one of the tree ones now because I've said that. My people yearn for the dams. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to go with the overgrown looking meadow with the gate there because that looks a lot like my garden right now. Very overgrown. Okay, so we've got river, steps, Beach. pond, farmer's field. Trees, trees, trees in the snow. I'm going trees in the snow as well. There's a lot of fucking trees in there. Yeah, there is. Let's, let's get that Silent Hill aesthetic. I'm going for yeah. beach, trees at sunset, and pond. There we go. Nice. Next up, choose your home. There are various cabins in the woods. Oh, that one by the sea. Excellent. Or there's one by the sea, which I'd probably take. Yeah, I quite like the look of that one. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go for the cottage because it looks like I could murder someone there. <laughs> is that the one with the lamppost outside that looks like mm. it's the kind of thing children would go into and be like, "Oh, it's full of food. Let's have one of these." Yeah, it looks then... like from the set of Postman Pat. I was gonna say Hansel and Gretel, but yes. <laughs> I mean, look at it. That's not a real place. That is a that is a miniature. <laughs> it's where Postman Pat gets eaten by witches. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Which, where do you want to chill out? Well, considering one of the pictures is literally of a fucking railway, I'm going to I'm It's going for a that. cat and a railway. Yeah. So, of the <laughs> Venn diagram of things people on this show like, that's it's kind of in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> I concur. Yeah, you like cats, I, I like railways, uh, Grace likes both. So. I'll be honest, looking at that railway, I don't think... Uh, anything's coming through there anytime soon. Nah, I'd be right. You'll, I, I reckon that cat's the conductor. Yes. Sure. <laughs> I mean, cat buses are very common, so cat train can't be too far from reality. Yeah. I did see the inside of the Hello Kitty train recently. Oh, shit, the yeah. Um, I... Sorry, the Hello Kitty bullet train, which is faster than every train in the UK. Yes. But is also bright pink everywhere. <laughs> Japan are just doing it to flex on us now. Like, even if we finished HS2, the Japanese Hello Kitty bullet train would still be leagues faster than any train in the UK. Yeah, this uh, this is the thing. So... It's like, they've, they've decided, oh, we're so far ahead of you in the technological developments of railways uh, that we have just decided to uh, take a couple of days off and paint one of our most advanced passenger trains with an interesting livery. Mm-hmm. With Hello Kitty. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's one for that one railway cat as well, Tama. Mm. The one that got promoted to Station Master. Yes. If you recall. <laughs> Who has, like, a really elaborate outfit. I I really want a film about the, the people... Who all oh, tried yeah. to get the position <laughs> and lost <laughs> to Tama. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I wanted them to turn into like American Psycho or whatever the fuck it is, where it's just them trying to get rid of this cat and the cat just outsmarts them yeah. every turn, like fucking mousetrap. You know what? Yeah, we don't have enough films about the people who lose to either the talking cat or the talking dog in films. Yeah. Who, who mostly aren't doing anything bad. They just want to win at sports and have to live with being defeated by Airbird. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we should... <laughs> that's an idea to think about. Yeah, so somebody needs to write the uh, the Station Master Cat. Mm. <laughs> okay. You found some treasure while wandering through the forest. What is the treasure? Fur from a rare type of fox, so roadkill. Bones from a large wolf, so, also, also roadkill. Road <laughs> Gold from a pristine lake, that's treasure. That, yeah, 
definitely treasure. A book with spells that will be helped, that's also good treasure. Little detailed animal figurines made from wood, that is looting from a child. <laughs> that's cursed. And a rare type of beautiful flower. I would leave... If you pick that flower, it is no longer rare and beautiful. It's going to die eventually. So um, I think the National Trust would be so far up your arse doing that that you just wouldn't be able to sit down. Exactly. So there's only really one logical choice for me here. It, is it the gold from the Pristine Lake or the Book of Spells? It's the Book of Spells. I mean, gold, yeah, I understand it, but... Since when can you do magic? Well, with the Book of Spells, I might be able to do magic. And you is it one of those universes where you need the book to do the spells, or is it just I... grimoire some <laughs> wizard made? You know, I don't think this quiz goes into the lore of its uh, magic system and world building. Also, we're a fairy, so we can do magic. Because uh, true, because uh, so it's like if that is the case, right? So bones from a large wolf and fur from a rare type of fox couldn't actually have its own qualities that, if you knew how to use them, would mm -hmm. be treasured to you. That's true. Unfortunately, I don't but I do know that a book of spells could be pretty useful. If I'm playing true to life, I'd have to go for little detailed animal figurines made from wood. And That's very specific. Why is that? I will tell you a small story. Okay. Uh, we were going around a charity shop, and I saw a little model of a Vulcan bomber, right? Ah. It was on there for a tenner, okay? <laughs> okay. Uh, I brought it home, and now I have two models of the same Vulcan. Of course. Nice. It's not even in a different livery. It's it's exactly the fucking same. Uh, the only difference is this one's broken in different ways to the one I've already got. Uh, right. I bought it because I felt sorry for it, and it was only a tenner. And now. Oh, it's that's on my understandable. Desk. Yeah. If you said it was broken, I would have been way more like, yeah, that makes sense. No, like it, it's missing bits. It, it's still recognisably a Vulcan bomber, but it it is Why missing not? like the refueling probe and the landing gear and. But I just bought it because I felt sorry for it. I thought. No. Yeah, that that's what I mean. Like I I can relate to that part. Yeah, it's like ten quid. It's a fair price to pay. And now I have two of the same Vulcan bomber. Mm -hmm. You know the little animal figurines made from wood? Does anyone remember a show called Z uh, Shoebox Zoo? No. That rings a very faint bell, and I don't know why. Right, so these little carved wooden animals, right, used to be old-ass monks. Okay. Right? And he's, he's this, this fucking kid's just got a shoebox full of them, and he's like the chosen one, and they're there to mentor him. And when this curse is broken by defeating whoever, they can then become human again and just go to heaven. <laughs> it, it does ring a very faint bell. I, I think I remember watching something which had that similar sort of plot. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's, it's just unlocked a weird memory. <laughs> I was like, oh. Uh. Uh, oh, boy. I have no idea. I might go for fur from a rare type of fox. I mean, you can make it look good. Like, get it on a coat or something. Yeah, keep warm with it. I mean, I think I'd get attacked if I started wearing fox fur, but... Maybe. I, I would definitely... If I was a fairy, I'm sure I could find something for it. So I got water fairy. I also got water fairy. Hey. I'm a garden it's, fairy. It's because we kept picking sea things, Nick. Yes. <laughs> Saw that coming a mile off. Mm-hmm. I have nothing else to do with this. I figured there'd be words and things. <laughs> yeah. That was um, okay. that was really anticlimactic. Sorry, the person it who was. Uh, did that quiz, but so yeah. we've we've got a choice. We could either do go on a shopping spree, or what is your fasona? I am curious to see if I am anything other than a wolf or a fox, which is what everybody picks. Go on then. Let's let's find out what our fasonas are. Grace, what do you think your fasona is before we do this? Oh God, I don't know. Probably a cat. Yeah. Either way, I'm scared. My money's on lizard. Yeah, I can see it. I think I'm going to be a lizard. Mm -hmm. As mentioned earlier. We'll see how in-depth this <laughs> quiz is. I feel horrible just clicking on it, to be honest. Where would you rather be right now? By yourself, maybe in a cave? Hiding somewhere where I can see people, but people can't see me? Maybe in a thick jungle? Out in the open air exploring? With my family? In the sky? Maybe on a plane? In bed? Hiding in my favourite spot? Or with my friends? Oh, that was hunting in my favourite spot. Hunting in my favourite spot. I'm guessing that's the one you pick if you want to be a wolf. Or with my friends. It depends what kind of wolf they're going for. Is it wolves in the imagination of alpha males, where it's <laughs> hunting and isolated? Alone or is it biologically accurate wolves that hang out with their friends and hunt in packs? Yeah. With the power of friendship. Yeah. With the power of friendship, because 
lone wolves don't do very well. I'm going to go for in the sky, maybe on a plane, because I would absolutely... I had a feeling. Yeah, I would absolutely fucking love to go and learn to fly right now. So, yeah. I'm choosing in bed, because I didn't sleep very well. Also a valid choice, yeah. Okay, what is your favourite um, emoji? So we've got wide grin, we've got poo, we've got thumbs up, got burger, got love hearts, we've got a cat and a snake. I think that's a Chinese dragon. Oh, is it a dragon? Yeah, I mean, my eyes... That is a dragon. Yep, apologies. What does it mean? I thought it was a... But what does it mean? <laughs> uh, cat dragon. Cat snake? Yeah, cat snake. Uh, sunglasses and the laugh where it's sideways. Probably the laugh where it was sideways if I went on... Oh, what's the word? The most frequent most ones frequent used. Most frequent ones used, yes, thank yep. you. Mm-hmm. I can't brain today. That's okay. So, yeah, I, I guess I'll have to uh, In that case, that. I'm going to go cool dude in sunglasses. <laughs> What's your favourite food? Uh, Anything with meat? Nachos? Salad? Chips? Candy? Fruit? I love all food. I would marry food if I could. What, every single item or, of food? No one loves all food, no. surely. Yeah, you, you've got to have and something. spaghetti. You... Mm-hmm. If I pick chips, will I become a seagull? <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming this is American and they mean crisps. Well, where are the crisps? Oh, that's true. I mean, nachos are kind oh, of no, crisps. Oh, no, they'd be fries, they? wouldn't they? Yes. They'd be fries. Yeah. There are no fries. There's no bread. I... Uh, I'd go anything with meat in it. Or potato. I suppose spaghetti is your closest to being mm-hmm. a wheat. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mm. go chips. Do you like college sc- slash school slash university? I'd laugh if I got human. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, please give me human. <laughs> you don't need a I don't even know if that's an option. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to go for... Well, I mean, I don't go to school, so... But did you like school when you were there? I mean, it was okay. I, I suppose one of the best things about school, if you'll uh, allow me to get very deep and meaningful for a little bit, is that you did Is that you could leave at 3pm. Well, A, you left at 3pm. B, you didn't really have to plan anything to see your friends because they'd just be oh, there the yeah. next day. You just go in, yeah. and it's like hello, and then and you had time. There were so few obligations that you could just be like, yeah, yes. You had the energy to do stuff either after school or on the weekend. Yeah, do you want to go ride your bike after school or something? We're going to go to the mm-hmm. beach or whatever. Yes, yes, I do. And then at the end of term, all right, I'll see you in six yeah. weeks. Yeah. If not oh. sooner. <laughs> six weeks holiday. Yeah. I'm going to go for It's Okay, I guess. You know, you've convinced me I love school, because how how good would work be if one day you just showed up at work and there was a bus outside and they were like, get in, we're off to a museum <laughs> for the day. <laughs> that would be rad. Yeah, it would. I want that to happen. Yeah. Just once. It's like my... Or your boss just wheels in a TV and you're just like, yes. <laughs> No work for today. Look, we can't be asked here. I'm gonna put on love, actually. Oh, oh, don't make me yeah. hope. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fantastic. Yeah, it would. It would. <laughs> that that needs to be a law that ev- at least like two or three times a year, d- no set days, d- the boss has to like either wheel in a-, a TV, and you'll get to watch Love Actually, or trip to a museum. Yeah, just like a- an employee day out. Yeah. For enrichment and. Exactly. Yeah, job satisfaction. You mean the works do? <laughs> oh, don't even. The works do where everyone goes off and gets no. pissed. So... Or, but you don't... Thing is, thing is, James, mm-hmm. you're wishing for the little role in TV. You get pizza. Oh, it's not the same. See? It's real. No, I'm it's sorry, not real, but you've got it. Pizza? <laughs> the reason they do pizza is so they don't have to give you a lunch break and they can have the meeting on your lunch. And they're evil for them. Yeah, and the reason they do wheel in TVs is because they are Because they were hung over and they still wanted us to do something. <laughs> but if we're hung over now, we still have to work. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Also, I'm mad about works dues because our London office has eaten our budget. Uh, I'd be mad about works dues too if that was the case. Yeah, because they've looked around and they said, you know what, people don't really come into Cambridge anymore. We should just have the party in London. If people want to come to London, they can. That, and That is proper shit. So they just invite us to London, and it's like a three-hour trip on a Thursday. 
on so, a Thursday. Yeah. So it's it's happening this weekend. Actually, is the office party? It's cocktails in London on a Thursday. None of it's free. Fuck that. That is kind of depressing. Like yeah. None of it's free. Yeah, it's not an open bar. It's they just show up. They've booked a table or the venue. How the fuck was there a budget for I that? I don't know. Yeah, isn't that just like going out with your work colleagues? There might be a free drink. I don't know if it's like I'm not. I didn't even look that far into it because I saw it was in London and I was just like, no. Right. Uh, this isn't worth it. It's also like a bright pink uh, cocktail bar, like aggressively pink. Pro tip here, mm-hmm. ladies and gentlemen. If you go on a works do and it's one of those ones where they basically put you on a table with like enough booze for whoever's sitting on the table mm-hmm. rather than have an open bar, what you do is you wait until the end. When everybody's grabbed a table, uh, this worked for me so well, it basically ended up with uh, me, the parts apprentice, the service manager and the parts manager, uh, four of us sat on a table with enough booze for ten. Nice. And we, all right, yeah, drop the hack. Like, yeah, what's on. the hack? That, that is the hack, basically. When while everybody, you didn't, tra- Nick. That was the fucking four chan thing of like, here's what you do: x x x profit. <laughs> no, that's, no, that's what you do. You skipped when, the crucial step. No, no, like I didn't. I okay, didn't. so t- how does turning up late get get you this? Everybody's walking around and trying to find the seat and like trying to find who they're going to sit with and stuff like that. You wait till the tables fill up and then you go to the most empty one. I see. Okay. That's what you do. Because then you end up with all the stuff that's on that table for you and whoever decides to sit with you. I see. Banking that there's empty seats. Yeah, this is it. Like, we got absolutely twatted and we didn't even have to spend any money at the bar. It was very nice. It was brilliant. Nice. Okay. I'm glad we cleared that off. I can use The Cambridge office planners (laughs) always prioritise open bar. Okay. Whereas the London party planners Mm. always prioritise venue. In a sense that they always pick like really girly caf like cocktail lounges where it's. Do you remember Blondes, Nick? Uh, yes, I remember Blondes. The cafe yeah. in Cortigan, like aggressively pink. Yes. I don't think many people reply, to be honest, because <laughs> it's just I don't think it appeals to the average employee at my place. I mean, the thing is, it's a bit scary. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll pull it up just so you can see what I mean. Like even by my standards, it's too much. Yeah, you don't mind a cocktail and shit, do you? No, I, I love a cocktail. Yeah, yeah. If it was free, I I wouldn't be bothered. They could hold it at the bottom of a bin uh, for all I care. Mm-hmm. But if it was free, then, you know, that's fine. But, yeah, I do know what you're on about. I can't even remember what it's called. So, and I googled pink, play, pink cocktail bars, and there's a list of 20 most pink cocktail bars in London. That's a, It's ridiculous. That's actually like a list, like a, a listable yeah. article. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The 20 pinkest cocktail bars in London. God. It had, like, a girl's name. Shaniqua. I know London's a a very big place, but, like, the fact that there's 20 of them Ah. worthy of being listed is impressive in itself, really. It was a place called Tonight Josephine. Tonight Josephine. As opposed to Not Tonight Josephine quoting Napoleon. I guess. I, I don't know. I've not heard that term before. Oh, not tonight, Josephine is like a a joke thing about um Napoleon and his his lady Josephine, who was obsessed with became queen of France and all that shit, and she couldn't have kids with him, so he left her for some ah. other woman. Huh, I've not heard of that. But Lucy thought it was a women's only place. That's just to set the stage of <laughs> what this place is like. Right, I see. All oh, right. There you go. Tonight, Josephine. Yeah. It's a good start. The logo is extremely pink. It's aggressively pink. For <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. For some reason, I don't know why, but I've got the phrase tonight, Josephine, we dine in hell. <laughs> For tonight, Josephine, <laughs> we dine in hell. And it's yeah, it, it's making me laugh. Oh, okay, so yeah, they've got a they have a bottomless brunch. That's a yeah. So if you go to their Instagram, it is exclusively hen nights and pictures of hen nights. I see. And I'm not I'm not above a cocktail. Love a good strawberry daiquiri. However, hen nights scare the shit out of me. Yeah. I have a story about a hen night. Oh dear. Not the Mamma Mia bottomless brunch. No, I, I wasn't on I wasn't <laughs> oh, on the hen night. But we were in mission. Okay. Uh I was wearing a a very loud floral shirt. I used to quite like very loud 
floral shirts. So Honestly, I think you should bring back the floral shirts. I'll be honest. Yeah, yeah. No, you've. They are coming. Yeah, back. I, I think Nick's. It. I. So sorry to derail, Nick. At seventeen, it looked kind of awkward on you. At thirty, I think you'd rock it. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, yeah, fair comment. But anyway, I was you know wearing this floral shirt. And uh, this head knight fucking walked in, and of course, you know, they're all giggling and they're all fucking pissed as farts because, you know, not, not many of them get mm-hmm. how much, I would have thought. And anyway, they had a list of dares. Well, they're okay. there to have a good time, of course yeah, yeah. they're pissed. But they had a list of dares that they had to do, mm-hmm. and anyway, one of them apparently was to uh, was to sniff a man's chest. Don't ask me why. Ah. So this... Okay. That's quite harmless. The problem I had with it, like, if they were asked, if they asked me nicely, I would have been like, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, uh, go on, you ladies. Know, if, if you want, that's fine. Oh, what, they just... What this woman d- uh, did was stride up to me, rip my shirt up and ripping one of the buttons off, and took a big sniff. I was like, what the fuck are you doing, you fucking lunatic? Yeah. So then... Yeah, yeah that is a bit weird. Rightly so. I actually had to go to the bar and say, look, this is going to sound like the weirdest request ever, but have you got a cable tie so I can hold my shirt together? <laughs> because, like, the, the, the fucking button had popped off and I couldn't find it, and I'm not going to be able to fucking sew it on at 10pm oh. at night in the middle of a crowded <laughs> pub, am I? Very true. Oh, fuck yeah, yeah, that really fucked me off. You know, and I could never find the button, and, of course, none of the buttons I found in, like, the spares pile matched. So <laughs> that was a shirt ruined. Mm. So yeah, head knights. Yeah, wind your neck. Don't in. like head knights. Yeah, wind your necks in. Be careful. Always ask mm-hmm. permission, and the man will unbutton your shirt for you. Probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, I'm dear. just trying to find because I was I had a clear out of my phone the other day, yeah. and I I found the Hawaiian shirt photo. Oh, is this the one that was edited? Yeah, there we go. Found it again. <laughs> the. Just for just for Grace's best. The song with yeah. Yes. In the <laughs> background. I, there's also a Velociraptor. There is, yeah. Um, there you go. Where have you put it? Uh, the usual. Weird memes we saw. Or, oh no, it's, mm-hmm. it's in our. Ah, uh, yeah, that. Was I, it. I didn't. I didn't want to post your face in the weird memes we saw. I never saw the Velociraptor yeah. before, and I always thought the explosion was real because I've only ever seen <laughs> it really small and grainy. Oh no. And, on, like, an we didn't icon. blow up Cottingham Park. <laughs> <laughs> I just, or I thought, release like, a velociraptor. You're telling me that you let you let a bunch of fireworks off, no. and Nick had just turned around at the no, wrong time because it doesn't look like a ball of fire from like a small grainy <laughs> image. But now, yeah, now I can actually see it. Yeah, it's fake as fuck. But the shirt was real. The shirt, the shirt was real. I had two like that. Uh, that was and... my least favorite Hawaiian shirt of the two that I own. And now you're in your thirties, you'd fucking rock it. I have bought another one. It's uh, fantastic. It's at Sophie's, waiting for an event where I can wear it. So nice. I'm coming up next weekend anyway. So if you, <laughs> there you go. There's your event. <laughs> cool. We will see. I, I may be at a car shows. Uh, at, right. at a car show. But yeah, fuck hen nights. They ruin my shirt. Exactly. <laughs> right. Let's find, let's find out what our personas are. How messy is your bedroom? Okay, yeah, we better get back to that. Um, Chernobyl. Full of books and other trinkets I love to collect, which I do. Chernobyl. Uh, Mine's trinkets. What's your favourite colour? Blue. Oh, you can pick multiple. Oh, fantastic. Good, because it's a toss-up between green and purple. Follow your dreams, pick both. I am. Grace? I see they haven't listed fuchsia. No one likes fuchsia. Fuck you. <laughs> Why did Magneto stop wearing purple? Because the days of fuchsia passed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. Uh, okay, sorry. Right, um, okay. Probably turquoise. That's a nice colour. Oh, I like red. Oh, I'll, nah, fuck it. I like all the colours. Tough choices. I like all colours. What is your sexuality slash gender identity? Oh, fuck off. What's that got to do with being an animal? That's a good point. I guess I'm just going to have to go straight. Oh, no, also, you, you some can, of these... You can pick. You can pick multiple. I was going to say that's good, because several of these overlap. Yeah. For example, polyamory, you can be you can be all of these and polyamorous. Yeah, yeah, you can... Yeah, 100%. Same with transgender. Yeah. You can't be asexual and intersex, though, because those are contradictory. I'm sorry, that was a shit joke. I just... <laughs> I couldn't... I saw it was right there. <laughs> Intersex, but I said. Uh, inter- yeah. I see. Yeah. Okay. I think intersex means you're both sex. It does. I, it it was a pun. <laughs> oh. Are, oh, are you intersex? Oh boy. 
Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think you need to send that one back. <laughs> Get a refund. <laughs> I have no uh, regrets. <laughs> Oh boy. I think you should, but all right. <laughs> uh, mm. What would you love on a fursuit? Six Big hours. claws, two heads, color changing fur, interchangeable ears and horns, six arms, wings, multiple tails, or a moving jaw. I mean. I don't really want a suit. Tough. I mean, if the wings worked as actual wings, that would be pretty cool. Six arms is too many arms. Yes. What if they work? I think I'd struggle, because I'm not a Hindu deity. <laughs> or a spider. Or Dr. Octopus. Dr. Octopus. He was a furry, for sure. I mean, so a Spider-Man. And oh, Batman. Spider-Man's definitely a furry. Yeah. And and anyone else with an animal man. Mm-hmm. The vulture. Come to think of it, everyone's just a furry. Right, either way. I'm apparently a dragon. Oh, I'm a bird. Okay. My persona is a dragon. You're tough and magnificent on the outside, and kind-hearted and selfless. Sometimes you're a bit lazy. Okay, I see. I've got a cat. Hey, you do. I've got a straight-up fucking cat. <laughs> huh. So one of the options is Dutch Angel Dragon. Dutch Angel Dragon. Yeah. Now. What's like a Dutch Angel Dragon? I know about a Dutch Angle. That's in cinema where you have the camera slightly slanted. Uh, a Dutch Angel is very presumably something different. Oh, it's one of those... I've seen these around DeviantArt and shit. It's just it's just a fluffy dragon. Huh. It's like a hippogriff dragon. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, Dutch Angel Dragon. I'm just doing a Google. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's like a fluffy dragon. Oh, here there's Ten signs you're becoming a furry. Oh, right. Now, this should be on the NHS <laughs> website. <laughs> As a just-in-case... Do you want me to send it over? Go on, let's yeah. see the ten signs you're becoming a furry. Yeah, let's, let's round and up the fir- with this. The first picture is of a little Persian cat. Go uh, on. Where do I pop? Where Quizzes do I pop? we did. Oh, this is a quiz. Are you a furry? Take this quiz and I will guess. Oh, God. All the pictures in this quiz are of my cats. I see why you wanted to do this one, Grace. <laughs> well, I didn't... I saw the title first, <laughs> and then I saw the cat. The cat's gorgeous, incidentally. Uh, it's a lovely cat, isn't it? Uh, right. Favourite animal? Cat, dog, turtle, frogs, flowers? Dog. Cat. Uh, I feel we should all do different answers, so I'm going turtle. Okay. That's another nice cat. What games do you play? Animal Jam, Pokemon, Fortnite, Roblox, or Undertale? <laughs> the only one I have actually played out of that is, is Pokemon. Yeah. All of these have quite furry options. I, uh, yeah. I have looked at Roblox because people do... All sorts of weird and wonderful things with Roblox. Like, um, there is somebody out there basically producing a train simulator in Roblox. There are better of trains. Course. There are better train simulators out there. I, believe in yourself. I would have thought there was, but still, you know, Good. more power to them. I'm so. going. I'm going Pokemon because I, I may as well be honest. Uh, all right then. Since since you're going Pokemon, I'll go Roblox. Oh, actually, you can pick multiple. Yeah. So, yeah, fuck it. We'll do that. What do you like to do in your spare time? Draw animals, read warrior cats, play video games, talk to your pets, bark at people, and howl at the moon. <laughs> That's another good cat. Um, Play video games, I guess. Yeah. That's all three. Well, you, Grace, you draw animals. No, I don't. Yeah. I draw people. Uh, you occasionally draw animals. Uh, Centipedes. Yeah, yeah. Are you a furry? Not in a weird way. <laughs> so, are you a furry? No, maybe. I like turtles. All the animal emojis. Or bark, bark, woof, gur, bark, woof, woof, gur, bark, woof, gur, bark, bark. I've clicked no. I've clicked no. <laughs> are you a leader, follower, or assistant? Leader, follower, assistant, woof. I am the alpha. I am the leader. Grows wings and howls at the moon hotly. Wolf, bark, Ugh. gur. Sings fight song. What's my? F- oh, he's got his own song. <laughs> What's my fight song? He is the storm that is approaching. Um, What's my fight? I can't have Virgil's fight song. He'll deck me. I don't know. I, I didn't think you'd have one. Fine. Cruel a cruel Barbie's thesis. I don't do, know. Do, 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 yeah. Do, 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 Solid choice. That's my fight song. I'm a Barbie girl. In a Barbie world. Yep. Anyway, leader. Uh, but not in a fun way, just in a in a way that leads to a lot of micromanaging. 
I mean... And schedule adjusting. Do you like cats? Assistant, maybe. Do you like cats? Yes. Love them. Do you like dog? Sorry. Do you like dogs? <laughs> yes. Fucking love dogs. Cats are better. No, they're not. Um, well, it depends on the They're not on the better, dog. they're not worse, they're just different. One of the options is cats are better. What kind of books do you read? Long chapter books, cute short stories, manga, non-fiction books about animals, or warrior cats. I, I can see... There's no bedtime yaoi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where's the bedtime yaoi? <laughs> <laughs> well, that count as manga, maybe. Uh, uh, I, I, it might I think that's romance, cute short story. I think the maybe. bedtime yaoi is a cute short story. Yeah. Incidentally, another work story. Um, we every summer we get interns in, and they put out a little thing about each of the interns and what they do. Uh, one of the interns is very clearly into yaoi, because she wrote in her facts about herself is I love books of all kinds. Of all kinds. Yeah. I see. Clear monster fucker. <laughs> I mean, that's, a, that's such a leap. No, my else, I mean, if that's the first thing you think about yourself as a hobby. No, I, I feel like if you did, you wouldn't write of all kinds. You just say, I like books. You just leave Maybe. it at that because you don't want people to even fucking guess that shit. I don't know. There was. It, I, I admit it's a gut feeling, but I suspect <laughs> I'm right. Uh, maybe sort of like try to find out what book she likes, you know. Oh, I can't be asked. She's not in my department. It was just <laughs> oh, something we noticed got... in the side. We were like, hang on. <laughs> That's... We've got the work experience people in. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just, it's just abuse. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what's your favourite anime? Uh -huh. I don't like anime. Pokemon. Oran. Yuri on Ice. BNA. Beasters. I don't know any of these. There's your bedtime yaoi, Grace. Where? Yuri on ice. Um, it was, oh my, I think even or in high school host club was more Yuri than fucking Yuri on ice. Wait, what? Yuri on ice, Yuri they, on they ice. canonically smooch, right? <laughs> they don't. They, they never kiss. No. Oh yeah, they don't. the whole thing. Never mind then. Yeah. It's the most closeted I, fucking I remember now. yaoi I've ever seen in my life. <sighs> Needed to be gayer. <laughs> so. Five out of ten. <laughs> I realise this is going to give me furry points, but of these anime, BNA is the best one, in my opinion. I don't know what that is. It, it, it is about furries. It's, <laughs> it's about a girl. It's about the government injecting people with animal juice, and they turn into animal shapeshifters, and there's a whole city of people who are just animals. Mm -hmm. I see. Turn into animals. I see. And... Uh, yeah, society hates them because they can turn into animals. So, so have have you seen Zootopia? I've seen Zootopia, yes. I have I know of it. I've never watched it all the way through, but... Oh, for fuck's sake. Hello? I think James has disappeared. Yeah, there he goes. He said, have you seen Zootopia? And then he just <laughs> went... <laughs> have you seen Zootopia? That's, that's what he was, and he just, he just sort of phased out of existence. Yeah, I think the furries are gone. <laughs> There's just oh, well. been a, a knock on the door and the sort of like of his internet wires being cut. <laughs> Bunch of FBI agents dressed up as weasels or something are just fucking taking him <laughs> away. Yeah, he mentioned BNA. He must be. Throw him in the cell with the rest. <laughs> Turns out there's been a crackdown. <laughs> Secret crackdown oh, going on. Oh, grief. <laughs> uh. Oh, boy. Oh well, I wonder if he's just listening to us chatting shit while he's frantically trying to get his microphone I, back on. I, I, I don't think he can hear us. Uh, where's the... hang on a minute, if I scroll down... Yeah, it is just me and you on the channel. So, he'll pick this up when, it's, oh. when eventually, if ever, this thing gets edited. But Ah, so we can say whatever we like now, regardless of consequence, until he, re he starts listening to it. Pretty much. So, is there anything you want to say with like a week in advance? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it might even be longer. Get milk. <laughs> yeah, it, it might even be longer because uh, I don't. Th th this isn't the uh, this isn't the episode, is it? It's just the warm up that we've decided to record. Oh, My yeah. laptop crashed. Hello. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 
what what were we saying? <laughs> we got as far as did you watch Zoo Two, and then you went. <laughs> yeah, so I put my laptop down. It just suddenly black screen. Ah. And I was like, oh, oh. god. <laughs> uh, maybe it's the heat. I hope not. Yeah, maybe it's the heat. This is this laptop's first summer, after all. Hmm. Um. Yeah. So B and A. It's like Zootopia if Zootopia was on Earth and every other city was humans, and there's obvious racism against animals. Right, I see. Yeah. It's Zootopia if they weren't cowards, but not in a sexy way. <laughs> okay, yeah, I see what you mean. And the theme theme song's a banger. Yeah. Anyway, that's what I've picked. I'm going to go for I don't know any of these, but, I mean... Po- you know Pokemon. I know Pokemon, everybody knows Pokemon, but since one of the uh, options isn't Cowboy Bebop, I'm going to have to go for I don't know that's any true. of these. Fair enough. And finally, what clothes do you wear? Let's have a look. Shirt and top, jeans and shirts, <laughs> jacket, shirts and leggings, beanie and shirts, or fursuit. Fursuits are animal, man. Are you a fairy? Do- no, but I do wear a fursuit. Occasionally. I mean, I mean, if you it's, were, co- it's cold outside. If you worked in, say, Disneyland, and you yeah. were one of the you were one of the mascots, you mm-hmm. know, um, walking about dressed up as Goofy or Minnie Mouse or whatever. Mm-hmm. I I suppose you could be said wearing a fur suit, having a fursona, but not being a furry. That's true. I'm gonna go shirts and jeans because I'm not a furry. <laughs> Fair enough. Ha ha! And the quiz agrees. Okay, you are not a furry. You might be weird. Good job. You are basic. Yeah, I got that as well. Nice. <laughs> Grace. I got what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You are cool. Please be my friend. I don't know if you're a furry, but you're on the good side of the internet. So, me and Nick, also not furries, but we're not cool. It's what we're learning. <laughs> Whereas Grace is cool and not a furry. Yeah, and I've got a little picture of a cat. Well, actually, by the sounds of things, Grace is, is you're cool, but the jury's still out. Yeah. So, oh. yeah. Oh, Grace. Oh, Fuck! <laughs> fuck! <laughs> I don't want to be your friend. I reject it. <laughs> it's closer than we were. Oh dear. How has this happened? I picked all the answers that weren't anything to do with being a furry, minus playing Pokemon as a child. There you go. <laughs> That'll do it. Mhm. Shouldn't have played Pokemon. James, you you picked a cat with abs and you rubbed its belly. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm comfortable in my not being a furry stasis. Oh, boy. I have also rubbed that cat's abs. There you go. You see? And you liked it. But but I, but I, you were so upset, you stopped. I didn't stop. You, ne- you left that cat alone because it had abs. I mean, it was a bit weird. You were ashamed. I, yeah, it was a weird choice. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit weird. Why would you give a... Why... <laughs> I mean, I suppose it was a wrestler, but it was still a fucking I mean, look, cat. Nintendo know what they're doing. <laughs> like, they, they can't pretend they don't. They've known it's since scary. Gen 3. What, because they're God yeah. or... Um, Am I wrong? I'm not saying you're wrong, yeah. I'm just saying... When when did Umbreon become a thing? Gen 2. Yeah, but like, when it became a thing Oh, thing. I don't know. No, Vaporeon. Yeah, I was going to say, Vaporeon's the one they make weird sexual things about. It is just down yeah, to that why? one fucking unhinged copy pasta. I've never seen it, and I don't think I want to see it. I was going to say, I don't think you want to, Grace. I'm not going to subject you to the Vaporeon copy pasta. No. It, it's weird. It is weird. It's really weird. And if you want to find that on your own time, you can. We've got an episode to record, so it's time to go. <laughs> I hope you've had fun listening to us. If you've listened to us, it means we've... The schedule has truly fucked us, and I've put this out instead. And we've also ran out of filler content. And we've also run out of filler content, which, to be honest, I don't have that much filler content in the bank, so that's it's not unlikely that that happens. Yeah, that's it. It's always a possibility. I mean, I've, I've been thinking of just rerunning um, silently on the Blink of Orgasm, but on the main channel, but <laughs> we'll see, <laughs> if in doubt. Because more people need to listen to that. We're it was the, very good. They absolutely do, but surely we're not yeah. at the stage where we feel like we have to produce reruns. <laughs> I mean, it's it, it's not a rerun, because it was on the side channel originally. It's sort of rebroadcasting it on the main one. I know, but I don't know. <laughs> like you can, we can just put a link to uh, to our you know side project. Shh. 
We could. Fan fiction we'll chills. See. But yeah, there we go. Go listen to Fan Fix and Chill. Cool. Maybe I'll just put out a thing saying, go listen to Fan Fix and Chill. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then call it there. Yeah. Right. We're off to talk about dead twinks. Have fun. Good night. Good night. Good night.